Hey, Shalom. All oh, praises to you, Hashem. Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakat Kodashi. Much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. All you brothers that are actually uh, in the spirit, that actually understand the Lord's covenant, and that are not denying the Lord. By denying the Lord, you're denying His glory. So by denying the Gentiles, you're denying the Lord. You see. By teaching men that there's no hell, you're teaching heresies and false doctrine. By teaching men um, the new covenant is not here, you say, then you're teaching false doctrine. Because when the Lord put his head down in John, um, when, when he put his head down on the cross, and then in John 17, he said, it is finished. He was saying he was done with what the Lord sent him to do. So we have a bunch of guys that are a bunch of devils, man. And you guys, you the way guys are teaching, they're directly teaching against the Lord, man. I wanted to I want to go into a couple of things because the brother said too. These men really have to fill up their measure, man. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. It's a certain measure these guys have to fill up because they're teaching false doctrine and they think because that they're of the world and they have the, the biggest camp and the most reprobates in it, that that means something. That don't mean anything. The Lord said that the wide gate is the gate to destruction. And so if you're highly esteemed among men, the Lord said you're an abomination. So you have your consolation. A lot of guys are living out their consolation. And this is their last time. So this is their world. They, this, this is this is what they supposed to do. You know, this is their world. And, and remember, the Lord said He didn't make Himself a no reputation. So the Lord, He wasn't honored. That's why the Lord said a prophet is without honor. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. So guys that are being honored, they're not men of the Lord, man. They're false prophets, teaching uh, false doctrine. Yeah, the, the, the Lord said a, a prophet is without honor. And that's the thing that a lot of guys don't understand either. They don't really understand this truth. The, the scripture tell you that the Lord made no reputation. All right. And you guys are clearly teaching false doctrine and you're clearly against the Lord. And you got many guys following your false doctrine. You see. So one thing too, these guys teaching this false doctrine, Esau don't want you guys. You're already dead. You see, you're teaching men death. You see, nobody want to come after you teaching that false doctrine you're teaching. Teaching the Gentiles can't make it. And I want to go over something real quick. Yeah, the Lord said a prophet is without honor. I don't even think you guys really, you don't even understand the Lord at all, man. It's crazy. It, it is really crazy in this time. Matthew 13 and 57. And they were offended in him. But the anointed, Yahweh Shai, said unto him, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. So the... The men of the Lord were hated and despised, man, with no honor and and rejected. Matter of fact, let's go to this real quick. It was prophesied for the Lord to be rejected. So you don't think his, his covenant is going to be rejected? His true teaching is going to be rejected? Him accepting the Gentiles in, you, don't, you think that's going to be accepted? No, it's not going to be uh, accepted. But whoever rejected him, they're rejecting them now. They're rejecting the Gentiles and they're using the Bible very cunning, like a like a snake to push false doctrine against the Gentiles. It's crazy, man. We're living in a crazy time. But the brother said, too, they have to fill up a certain measure. So it's like these guys got to keep doing videos till they fill up their measure. They got to keep doing these deceitful videos, these deceitful videos. Until all of a sudden the Lord strike their ass down. And that's what the Lord is doing actually. By us teaching this new covenant. This is a sign of guys uh, being pulled down. 
since they're in the spirit of Esau, they're carnal. A lot of these guys have sold their birthright for a place in the world. That's why you're honored, because you have a place in the world. The Lord didn't make no reputation. Isaiah 53 and 3. And he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. He is despised and rejected. Don't this sound familiar? Isn't the, the new covenant uh, despised and rejected? And this is what this is what's happening in this time. But just just how that this new covenant is advancing and is bringing out these certain things, this marks the end of them. But they don't even see it. They're so carnal. Men are directly teaching against the middle wall of partition. Men are directly teaching against the new covenant. It is crazy. So they're rejecting uh, eternal life. This is why Paul said he turned to the Gentiles. Matter of fact, let's read this. Acts 13. Acts 13 and 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, it is necessary the word of God to first have been spoken to you, but seeing ye put it off from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Whew. And in this time, our people, you're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. You're supposed to be teaching the Gentiles, but you guys are rejecting the Gentiles. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. This is Luke uh, 2 and 30. It says, for my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou prepare for the face of all people. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. This is what the new covenant is about. Knocking down that middle wall of partition. And a lot of you guys are uh, really showing that you're Satan, man. <laughs> you guys are Satan. You're taking the scriptures and you're twisting them up. You, you, you're making up things. So this is why the scriptures talk about a eternal, uh, eternal damnation. Because for what guys are doing, you're not going to come back in the, on the planet with that deceitful, demonic spirit of trying to hold men to the old law. And then on top of that, teach against what the Lord established in the first century. So this this directly means that guys are not lights unto the Gentiles. They're not even a light unto themselves. Luke 2 and 30, for my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. So this is the scripture tell you this is open unto all men are justified that believe. So all you have to do in this time is actually believe. It says Luke 2 and 32. A light to lighting the Gentiles, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. So you are supposed to be a light unto the Gentiles, which guys are actually against that. Guys forbid you that the Lord can heal Gentiles. And when you go to Mark 3, I think it was the, the, the Lord, he was healing multitudes of Idumians and Gentiles in Mark 3. You see, <laughs> you guys are against the Bible, man. You're against your own soul. Well, first of all, you don't even believe. And um, you don't believe in hell. Isaiah 49 and 6. And he said, it is a like thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. So so certain men are preserved and are going to be preserved. A remnant, just a remnant. A lot of you guys with you and your followers and your subscribers and the rest of you guys. Are going to be cut off. This is what it means when it says two parts of of our people are going to be cut off. Teaching that false doctrine. You're supposed to be a light to a Gentile to the Gentiles, but you guys ain't no light to the Gentiles. You guys are darkness to the world. You're darkness to yourself and you're darkness to everybody. You're, you're not no light to no Gentiles. You got guys in these 
old covenant garments standing on the street telling salvation ain't for nobody but Israel and don't even understand the scriptures. And these elderly guys, elderly guys, these elderly to and all these guys that are teaching, they're teaching false doctrine. And you guys got this old man teaching and he's fucking losing his mind like Joe Biden. Don't know what the hell he's talking about. Isaiah 49 and 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to rise up the tribes of Jacob to restore the preserve to Israel. So a lot of you guys are not really uh, uh, are not really restoring our people. You're actually you, you got our peoples going in circles just like in the wilderness. So that's why we say that 40 years of you guys doing this, it's, it's almost up. It's up, actually, because this truth is out there. It says, I will also give thee a light to the Gentiles, a light to the Gentiles. So you're supposed to be teaching the Gentiles that they could be saved. This is what you're supposed to be doing. If you're not doing that, then you're against God, bro. You're an antichrist. And then you got guys that do lessons because it, it tell you that the, the the Lord healed the Gentile in Mark 3. What's, what's the big deal about it? Guys are Satan because they know if the Gentiles understand that they all they have to do is believe. That's it. That is the Gentiles being fulfilled. And the Gentiles and this thing is going to be fulfilled without you camps help. You don't need, we don't need that 12 try chart. For men to believe in their heart. We don't need that chart. It ain't about carnal Israelites. It's about who's actually the Israel of God through belief. This is where they get you. By being carnal on the outside. The scriptures say that it's not a Jew that is one inwardly. Outwardly. It is a Jew is a Jew which is one inwardly. This is what they're not teaching you. So if you don't believe in this, it don't matter if you're an Israelite on the outside. If, if you don't have no belief, you're a heathen. These camps days are numbered. They're a part of the world, man. And they're fighting for this world. They're not fighting to bring the light to the Gentiles. They're not fighting to teach you the new covenant. They're not fighting to tell you the truth. They're, they're fighting to keep their place in the world. Like in John uh, 11. All they're worried about is, is their likes and their views. And they think that makes them a man of the Lord. All oh, you reprobate carnal. And that's the thing. You may be an Israelite on the outside, but you're a fucking heathen in the inside. The Lord said you got to cleanse what's, what's in the cup. And a lot of you guys never cleanse what's in the cup. It's just a dirty cup that look clean on the outside. That's what you guys are. Isaiah 49 and 6, and he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant and raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the preserved of Israel. And I will also give thee a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. So you're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. And it tells you that right here in Acts 13. And 39, it says, and by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which you cannot be justified by the law of Moses. So all men that believe are justified. I think the brother sent me one. He sent some scriptures. Let's read this real quick. Yeah, man, we're dealing with. Well, you see it, man. You see our people are demonic in this last day. And they have no. Man, it's a bunch of them here. Let me grab this. Psalms 96. So from the from the Old Testament. It was letting you know that the Gentiles were going to be able to come in. But our people are so evil and so demonic. They're trying to hold on to this world by teaching you that the Gentiles can't come in. Psalms 96 and 2. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen and his wonders among all people. This is what you're supposed to be teaching. 
But guys are they're they're teaching false prophet camp doctrine. It's heavy. It's very heavy in this time. So you're supposed to declare the glory among the heathens. A lot of you guys don't really understand what you're teaching, man. You fought you're just following these elders, and they're blind. That's why this is what the Lord said. <laughs> they about as blind as a bat, man. It is crazy, man. Matthew 15 and 14. This is what the Lord told us. He said, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. So a lot of you guys, you're blind in this last day. You have no understanding. The Lord have actually uh, blocked you guys off from the real understanding. And you're fighting. You're fighting against the spirit. You're fighting against the Lord with your camp doctrine. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Man, that old man need to go sit down somewhere, bro. Teaching that false doctrine. And he, he actually think that they're fooling the elect. You might be fooling people of the world with all that shit you guys are doing. But the elect know you guys are false prophets. That's what it means. So you supposed to be a guy and a light to the Gentiles. You guys are darkness. Guys are not lights to the Gentiles. They are darkness. It's very heavy in this time, bro. I'm telling you. You're supposed to be trying to bind up the brokenhearted. What guys are doing, they're they're not binding up nothing. They're dividing. They're 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 breaking things up. They're 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 teaching the false camp doctrine that don't have no love for nobody. It's heavy. That's why when Vocab Malone come up, these guys get all out of that. It's like they get all they get all shook up when these guys come down because they really don't have the gospel. They don't really don't understand the scriptures, bro. It's heavy, man. They hated the Lord. Um, They actually hated the Lord healing, man. So they hate this new covenant. They hated the Lord uh, when he when the when the Lord healed that blind man um, and the parents they didn't want to say nothing because they got they 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 were scared of being put out of the synagogue, but they knew that the Lord had healed him. Man, it's heavy, and you guys, what's happening now? Certain men are being healed, and you hate men are being healed, and they're not being healed of camps. Actually, you camps, you're making men worse, man. These camps. You just you. It's like you don't understand the the judgment and the the high penalty for teaching man false doctrine. You're teaching against the Lord and the Gentiles in the middle wall of partition, which the Lord broke broken down when the temple went in twain. Everything started over, and then the the old laws of the 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 old laws were were torn down. It's heavy, man. It's crazy, man. For Ephesians 2 and 14. For he is our peace who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. He is our peace, right? Not you guys' peace. He is our peace and who have made both one. So all the believers and everybody in this time, it don't matter who you are, what race you are, if you believe we're all one, you see? Because, and it says, and have broken down the middle wall of petition, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in the ordinance. So if you don't understand the old laws abolished and the Gentiles can't believe in this time, um, that means that you was not redeemed. The Lord didn't buy you back. You're still an old bottle and you cannot put new wine in old bottles. So guys are doing everything they can to teach against the new covenant and the Gentiles. Guys, guys are so reprobate, they don't even understand judgment. They tell you that it's not a hell. <laughs> you see? 
And the Lord healed Idumians in Mark 3. They never, you would never hear these guys bring that up. Because they, they are ashamed of the gospel, man. <laughs> they are ashamed of the gospel. They hate the gospel. They actually hate the Lord. You see? Mark 3 and 7, it says, But Jesus himself withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Zidane, a great multitude from Idumea. The Lord was healing certain men. And when they had heard the great things he did, they came unto him. And he spake to his disciples that small ship that, was, that should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should bring, lest they should thong him. For he had healed many. You see? These guys ain't healing nobody. They're holding you to the flesh. It is heavy, man. So a lot of these guys, they're in darkness, man. They have no understanding of the scriptures. And by guys actually being in that camp doctrine, being in that spirit of hate, they can never understand this. They're going to be against it till they die. First John 2 and 11, but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth right. You guys don't really understand what you're doing. Because that darkness have blinded his eyes. Woo. So a lot of you guys think you're in good case. But really you're not. Really a lot of you guys are um you're you're um you're cursed. You're cursed under the old law. And a lot of you guys have sold your birthright like Jake, like uh, Esau did. So the spirit of Esau is in you guys. The spirit of Cain is in you guys. The spirit of Saul is in you guys. That's why that 40 years of holding man to the flesh, it is almost up. Let's go here. Acts uh, 13 real quick. Acts 13, 21, it says, and afterward, they desire a king and God gave them Saul, the son of Sis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin by the space of 40 years. And first it was Saul, then came David. First was Esau, then came Jacob. Now, this is not so much as going into the physical person, but the spirit of those people. You guys are not the Israel of God. You're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. You're rejecting the Gentiles. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of fucking rejects, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy what you guys are teaching on the streets. You're teaching, you're teaching against the Lord. And you're blaspheming openly. You're breaking the scriptures down wrong blatantly. So this is what the Lord means. They have to fill up the measure of their forefathers. Because that's what happened. So you got to you got to look at it, man. Their forefathers, they must have been some real. They were real evil because they have a heavy measure. So every video these guys do, um, they are showing you that they're wicked because they're against the Gentiles. They're teaching you that the new covenant ain't here. They tell you it ain't no hell. They're teaching Esau and false doctrine. And we're on their heels, pulling their ass down. <laughs> you see? Crazy, bro. They're carnal, man. Guys so, uh, sell their birthright and then they teach you false doctrine. You see what I'm saying? So we're pulling their ass down by their heel. All right? Matthew 23 and 31. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Wherefore you be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children of them which kill the prophets. What more proof do you need, man? These guys are directly teaching false doctrine. 
denying the Lord's glory, denying the new covenant, denying it's a hell, denying the Gentiles. Got the scriptures and butchering them. I can't really listen to these guys that long, but it it just it just it's unbearable what you guys are doing, man, in this last day, man. You guys are pure evil. So so the scriptures tell you, wherefore you be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children which killed the prophets. You're witnessing to your, yourselves. You guys are evil teaching that camp doctrine. You guys are evil as hell. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Fill ye up the measure of your fathers. So you got to you gotta really look at everything. Guys, their fathers had a really wicked high measure in them times when the Lord never were on the scene. They were putting men to death. It's crazy, man. You serpents, you generations of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? So it's already written for these guys to go to hell. You see? And let me get out of here, man. In this time, you're supposed to be a light unto the Gentiles, but our people are in nothing but darkness, man. Repent to the new covenant, man. With that, a shalom. Flagman.